Good morning, gorgeous. How are you ladies doing this morning? I hope you're all doing wonderful. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Michelle Daff. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back to the Dr. Daff Show. We're answering a question today about being feminine on the outside and masculine on the inside. So I want you to go ahead and sit back, relax, get something to drink, get something to write with, and let's talk about this. Hello, Dr. Michelle. I have been wanting to message you for a while now. I want to say I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel, and I think you're an amazing person. I decided to write this email because I'm looking to start my journey, but I feel like there's a major roadblock in me not being able to change. I am 19 and I grew up with two older brothers and a dad my entire life, all very sporty and masculine. I do have a very feminine mother and a little sister, so I was not the only girl. Now in myself, what I see when I look in the mirror is a beautiful, feminine, soft looking woman. I like to do my hair and makeup and I love fashion and all that good stuff. So I appear to be very feminine looking. My problem is that I feel like my personality as a whole is very masculine. I hung out with my brother growing up and most of my personality developed from my brother and his friends. So I run into the issue of being more loud and aggressive, I would say. And I worry it's going to scare off and intimidate the type of man that I seek to share a relationship with. I try to practice different things that are more feminine, like being calm and soft and smiling more and being relaxed and still, but I still feel like my personality and humor itself is just very masculine. I don't know if it's a bad thing or if that's okay, because I think I'm a nice, funny, outgoing person to be around, but I don't know if it'll affect my romance life. If you have any tips, that would be awesome. Thanks, Kenzie. Thank you so much for your question, Kenzie. And I just want to start off by saying that your personality in terms of being fun and outgoing and extroverted and funny is a wonderful thing. But let's talk about the masculine on the inside and feminine on the outside. So this is a very popular question and a very common issue that so many of us women have. If you're someone who has learned about femininity, say in the last couple of years, since I've been on YouTube talking about it, and you've worked really hard on just being more mindful of your outer appearance in terms of just maybe wearing more dresses, wearing color making sure your hair is done, having good hygiene, you know, taking two showers a day, especially if you're exercising, eating better, and just focusing on your inner health, you know, reading your Bible and journaling and being in touch with your emotions. If you've been focusing on all these things, then you're probably at the point where you've seen the amount of masculine energy that you used to harbor and you've sort of blossomed into this feminine woman. But so many of you ladies have been struggling because you've put in so much effort on the outer appearance, but you haven't been able to fix the inside, that masculine energy that you feel like you can't quite stop. And this can look very different for different people, but some examples of that, I've gotten lots of messages still about reaching out to men like, maybe approaching men for dates or shooting your shot with men, sliding in DMs and asking, is it, is it okay for you to ask men out? Doing things like refusing help, refusing help from other people or struggling to be able to receive help, especially if someone asks and you know you need it and you still say no because you don't want to inconvenience the person. There are so many masculine behaviors that we can exhibit. And I have a video actually talking about masculine behaviors that you need to stop as a woman that are causing your life to be really stressful. So you can check that video out to get more examples. But it is a struggle because so many of us were raised in environments where we either had a single mother who had to be in her masculine energy all the time, always doing, always controlling, never resting, not paying attention to the little things, not having an environment that was relaxing at home. And you've picked up those behaviors, you've adopted them, 
or you've had situations in your life that have caused you just to be super rough around the edges as a woman, whether it's because you live in poverty or you live in an area that women are not really appreciated, especially as a black woman for being softer. Maybe you just don't feel like you are someone who is noticed at all in society. And so you feel uncomfortable dressing like a woman. You hide yourself in baggy clothes or you make yourself look ugly because you just don't feel confident that you are beautiful. Okay, there are so many different things that get in the way and a lot of it just shows up in our personalities. We're just super controlling and we're really aggressive. We're snapping at people all the time. We want to argue with men. We're not able to be led by men, especially in a marriage and you're not able to listen to your husband. You're always questioning what he's doing or belittling him or talking down to him or doing whatever you want to do. And you're not able to be submissive. There are just so many things. The list goes on and on about masculine behavior in us women. And it really is a society problem. It's a deep problem. It's an inner issue. And we really won't notice it unless we are real with ourselves and have a serious conversation about the why behind of a lot of our behaviors, the real truth why we have a hard shell. Okay, until we're able to really look at ourselves and be honest, you will continue to be masculine. And it's very alarming when you meet a woman who is really beautiful and looks like she should be a soft woman but she's cursing and she's aggressive and she's rude and she's negative and she's harsh. It's very confusing, especially to men. So you might be the kind of woman who maybe you look a certain way and so men approach you or you have a lot of men wanting to date you, but then for some reason you cannot seem to keep these men in a relationship. And I'm not saying you need to keep anyone, you know, you don't need to keep a man, but they're not interested in being in a relationship with you because they were so intrigued by the outside. But when they got to know you, they realized this is not really a woman in the sense of how you're behaving. They feel like, you know, you're one of the boys and that is a turnoff. And I know it's hard because you may not know how to get rid of these layers, but it's a step-by-step -step process. The first step, being honest. And realizing that this is happening, this is who you have become, and being open to changing that. Now, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Ladies, it's so important that you spend time becoming the person that you want to be, and you get assistance doing that. Therapy is a wonderful tool for being able to unpack your past or to help you with your future goals. As a psychologist, I believe everyone should have therapy at some point in their life to better themselves. And BetterHelp can help. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that has therapists that you can talk to over the phone or in a live session. The great thing is you don't have to show your face. You can turn your camera off. It's affordable and you can get matched with a therapist in 48 hours. As a listener, you can receive 10% off of your service by using the code FEMININE. So visit BetterHelp today at B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash feminine. So a couple of ways that you can sort of heal this part of you, and this is something that would take a lot more videos to talk about, and I do have a video specifically on your femininity and how to sort of heal those areas, but some things that you can do to start becoming more feminine on the inside is just getting more connected with yourself as a woman, just feeling, allowing yourself to feel. So instead of having this hard shell where nothing bothers you and you don't care and, you know, you just sort of spew out what's on the inside, taking time every day when you get home to slow down and relax and think about what you did that day. Think about what you said to people. Think about how things really made you feel and feel it. Feel it in your body. Don't be so much in your mind, in your head, that you're not able to kind of bring those emotions down. Okay, femininity is all about your body, the neck down. So being able to feel and also moving your body, okay, doing things that involve dancing and movement. 
And this is something I used to do all the time when I used to get home from work after working a job, being in my masculine energy all day long. I could not wait to get home and just be myself because I hated having to be this kind of person that just went against who I was. Um, and so I would come home and I would dance. I would just turn on the music and just dance for like an hour. And I felt so good being able to move around and just be in my feminine energy. And that helped me to relax. It helped me to think. It helped me to just open, just open up. And it's something I would encourage you to do. There's lots of different kinds of dancing, but there are some dances that are more yin, more feminine, and will help you to really get into your body and be comfortable with yourself. Because so many of us are not comfortable with ourselves in terms of our body and our capabilities. So learning your body through dance is really helpful, not just with your posture and your confidence, but in terms of being comfortable in your skin. It's also important for you to do some work in terms of journaling and taking those emotions and thoughts and putting them on paper. And this is something that has been sort of like a lost art over the years. You know, when we were like younger, it was really popular to have a journal or a notebook and write down what happened during the day. But as we've gotten older and it's like this world is more technology centered, we don't want to do that. We don't even want to slow down and get off of our phone. We want to always be connected to our cell phones. So if you have the opportunity to sit down, light a candle, lay in bed and write and just write down your thoughts, write down you know how you feel, write down what you want and allow yourself to just give yourself time to slow down and have peace. This will harmonize you. You'll be able to start really being honest with yourself and planning on different things to do. You'll be able to approach situations differently. You'll be able to go back and apologize for things that you've done because you are taking it from the inside and putting it out in a place that is private for just you to be alone with and to deal with. And it's one of the best ways of being able to be in your feminine energy. Okay, ask men how much they do that. Like men probably don't do it at all. The thought of like sitting there and journaling just seems like a waste of time. But that's the difference between being in your feminine and being in your masculine. It's not a waste of time. It's time that you are using to refuel. And it's the best time for you to be able to be with yourself. And that is what femininity is all about, loving who you are as a woman and bringing yourself out every day. And one other thing that's so important for you to do is to focus on your spirituality. And that means having a relationship with God, connecting with God every single day, whether it's right in the morning when you wake up, setting some time alone to pray, to read your Bible, to just have a spiritual connection and realize that you don't have to do everything by yourself. You're not on your own in this world. Okay, you have divine protection. You have love. You have someone who loves you, who's watching you throughout the day, who's helping you all day. And you want to be able to check in. You want to be able to check in with God and give yourself scriptures to empower yourself and to strengthen yourself and to give yourself peace throughout the day. Okay, this is what's going to lessen the amount of tension that you have, the arguments that you have, the anxiety that you have. That anxiety shows up. And that's why a lot of times we are super masculine because we're worried or we're afraid or we're trying to protect something. And we think all of the control is in our hands. But taking away that anxiety and giving it to God and allowing him to be able to work through these things for you really allows you as a woman to be in your feminine energy and it allows you to be able to give up control, which is necessary as a feminine woman to know that you don't have to do everything by yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's also important to know that a lot of things are interweaved, or I should say everything is interweaved with scripture. If you are someone who truly does love God and wants to be able to live a life where the kingdom of God really does rule and you are able to live in this sort of divine bubble of protection and peace and blessings, then, you know, one of the commandments is to honor the Sabbath. God's already assigned a day out of the week for you to rest, for you to take it easy, for you to just recharge and chill. And that's a command because it's necessary. That's why so many of us get sick. 
okay, we're just going, 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 going. We never slow down. We never relax. And that does come with consequences. So a lot of these things that are spiritual are also there to really just help you with your day-to-day functioning and with your ability to be able to live the best life. So I want you to consider all these things if you're someone who is struggling, not just looking good on the outside, but really being healed on the inside, whether that's going to counseling, whether that's going to church, whether that's doing both (laughs) and, you know, just doing things at home to give yourself peace and relaxation, massages, just quiet time, all these things will help you to be more feminine on the inside. If you ladies have any more suggestions, please leave a comment below. Again, I have videos that go into much more detail about all these things, addressing jealousy and all these other issues that can truly get in the way of your femininity. So leave a comment and help your sister out. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at A Feminine Impression and my personal page at Dr. Michelle Daff. You can also visit my website, findforever.com. If you love fragrance and you want to smell like a beautiful feminine woman, you can purchase my fragrance, 2911, and listen to my podcast, A Feminine Impression. Until next time, in all things you do, make a feminine impression. Bye-bye.